Today's weather is sponsored by Integrity Ag Group, the Quad State Area source for precision ag technology. Locally owned and operated, specializing in planting, harvesting, fertilizer application, and drainage. Visit them on their website, integrityaggroup.com. You can also find them on Facebook and Twitter, located in Elmo, Kentucky. Good evening, I'm meteorologist Bo Dotson. It's February 27, 2017. Take a quick look at the satellite view and you see clouds to our south and our storm system's organizing. It's going to cause us some headaches over the next 24 to 36 hours. I turned on the dew points and you can see dew points in the 70s over parts of southeast Texas and southern Louisiana in the 60s moving into Oklahoma now and even Arkansas. All of this moisture will spread north and east over the next 12 to 24 hours our atmosphere will become quite unstable. Later tonight, we might see some thunderstorms develop over Arkansas, and then those will spread into southeast Missouri, Illinois, west Kentucky, northwest Tennessee. Some of those storms could produce dime to nickel-sized hail. Storms will end tomorrow morning, and then we might be capped tomorrow. Warm air aloft may keep thunderstorms from forming in the afternoon. We'll have to see if the cap breaks. Some severe weather will be possible on Tuesday afternoon. The bigger concern arrives Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. The Storm Prediction Center has outlined an enhanced area of severe weather. Now the Storm Prediction Center has several levels that goes general thunderstorms, not severe. This dark green marginal, maybe a severe thunderstorm. Yellow is slight risk, which actually means severe thunderstorms are likely to occur, but perhaps not widespread in nature. Enhanced is a higher level that's where you could get more widespread severe weather. The risk above this is moderate and then high. Would not be surprised if a moderate risk is issued for portions of the area. I've been talking to a lot of forecasters today, and we do have concerns about Tuesday night and Wednesday morning. Let's make sure our weather radios are working. Make sure the batteries are fresh. Sign up for the text messages at bowdotsandweather.com. Make sure you turn on the tornado ones. That's the text option number one called Weather One when you sign into your account. Also, don't choose a lot of counties for your warnings. Less is more. Otherwise, you're going to get a ton of, of text messages that have nothing to do with your county. Try just to pick the county that you live in in the county that you work in. I suppose then also if you have some uh, family in other counties. But just remember, the more counties you select, the more text messages you will receive. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is the future cast radar. Remember, this is a model. Models are not perfect. This is going to give you an idea of what we are looking at over the next 36 hours. So we move through tonight and you see these little cells try to pop up. Those are thunderstorms ahead of a warm front that's moving through the region. We watch storms form down here in Arkansas. We look up here at 2 a.m. in the morning. So these are late night storms, lightning and small hail possible. I'm not anticipating severe weather tonight. I can't rule out a severe thunderstorm warning for hail, but we're not looking at widespread wind or tornadoes tonight or anything like that. Some thunderstorms, pretty good bet that some of them will produce hail as well. Those will continue into the morning hours. We'll stop here at 7 a.m., kids getting on the bus. We do have some thunderstorms in the area, maybe some hail, lightning, heavy downpours. Then as we move through tomorrow morning, everything calms down and moves out. The atmosphere may cap over. That's like a lid on the atmosphere. If the cap holds, we won't have much to worry about tomorrow afternoon. But again, if the cap breaks, then severe thunderstorms could rapidly develop. Let's just move through the afternoon, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. Not seeing thunderstorm development. This is picking up on some possible rain, maybe nothing at all here, but we're not seeing the bright colors, the thunderstorms popping up. Again, maybe the cap will hold. 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock. Now we're starting to see some thunderstorm development. A lot of severe weather parameters tomorrow are quite high. So we are concerned that if thunderstorms develop Tuesday evening into Tuesday night, they could produce large hail, damaging winds, and even a couple of tornadoes. So pay attention to weather warnings tomorrow, tomorrow night, into Wednesday morning. Let's keep moving through here, and I want to show you the development of a squall line, a line of thunderstorms, back here along the cold front, and that will move into our area late, late tomorrow night. We'll stop here at 3 a.m., and we see this line of thunderstorms, some of them severe, and then we see these cells ahead of the squall line. These cells ahead of the squall line, really concerned about. There's a lot of spin in the atmosphere. We could have severe weather with these if they form. Some of the models do not form storms ahead of the cold front. They just form the, the, uh, the line of storms right on the front, but nothing ahead 
of the thunderstorm line. If nothing ahead of the thunderstorm line develops, that's better, that's good. We don't want storms forming ahead of this line because they would likely become quite severe. Even with that said, the squall line itself could produce hail, damaging winds, and isolated tornadoes. Let's keep moving through 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 a.m. in the morning. You see supercells here in West Tennessee and parts of West Kentucky. And then you see this squall line back here that moves through the area 7 a.m., 8 a.m., Wednesday morning, 9 a.m. Now, remember, during any severe weather event, most of the area is spared. Not everyone has severe weather. We know this. We've lived in this region a long time. We know how severe weather goes. But a few spots tomorrow, tomorrow night, Wednesday, could have problems. Fast-moving storms, storms would move at 60, 70 miles per hour. So if a tornado warning is issued, take action quickly. Storms could be moving very fast, will not give you much time. If you wait to the last minute, won't give you much time to seek shelter. So keep that in mind. We're also concerned that this is an overnight event. Historically in our region, severe weather overnight can cause additional problems. That additional problem is people not getting the warning because they're asleep. Make sure your weather radios are on. Make sure your cell phones are on for those text messages. I will be up all night monitoring and tracking the storms, whatever forms, on Tuesday, Tuesday night, and Wednesday morning. I'll be there. National Weather Service will be there along with local media.